So why is Trump winning? I mean, the poll, the New York Times poll this week came out, and maybe this will change it with the State of the Union address, but, it, but Trump was beating him rather soundly. It was quite a warning light, 48 to 43, also winning way more among women. Women. Well, that's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today we'll be talking about Robert De Niro, who appeared last night on Bill Maher's show. And let me tell you, it was lights, camera, cringe, with the thoroughly deranged train wreck Robert De Niro insanely ranting about Donald Trump being nothing short of the Antichrist who will end all life on Earth. Bottom line is, it's Biden versus Trump. We want to live in a world that we want to live in and enjoy living in or live in a nightmare. Vote for Trump and you'll get the nightmare. Vote for Biden and you'll we'll be back to normalcy. Yeah. Normalcy is a little different from the perspective of somebody with TDS. It's totally normal to have a president that's got to be jacked up on a cocktail of drugs in order to fall all over the place and ramble incoherently or to be on the brink of World War III with new conflicts arising every year. Also can't forget how normal it feels to have unaffordable gas, energy, and groceries. It's also totally normal for De Niro and his party to weaponize all of our systems against their political opponents. To have porn and drag queens in school and almost 8 million illegals in the country since the adults got in the room and undid all the crazy things that Trump had done to stop that from happening. Of course, I mean, that's a very, very common, totally common thing. So why is Trump winning? I mean, the poll, the New York Times poll this week came out, and maybe this will change it with the State of the Union address, but, it, but Trump was beating him rather soundly. Would you say it's time for everyone to panic? Yes, I would, Kent. It was quite a warning light, 48 to 43, also winning way more among women women than he had before, winning outright Latinos. Would you say it's time for our viewers to crack each other's heads open and feast on the goo inside? Yes, I would, Ken. What, what do you attribute that to? I don't know. I, I just don't want to feel the way I did, and many, many of us don't, after the election in, 19, in uh, 2016. Uh, where we couldn't believe that it happened. Unreal. I don't think he intended to admit the real truth behind his deep hatred for Donald Trump, but he just admitted it there. He never got over the fact that they lost the 2016 election. The guy is a total monster. And uh, anybody, I don't understand it. The, I guess they get behind that kind of logic. They want to fuck with people, screw them, because they're unhappy about something. He's such a mean nasty, hateful person. Did I mention he's insane? Crazy? Nasty? How about mean? He's a sociopathic, did, psychopathic, malignant narcissist. Did. Seriously, his main argument just seems to be an endless list of negative insults. I, I, I never pay, play him as an actor because he's, I can't see any good in him. Bro, you literally played Satan. How exactly is Trump this apocalyptic monster they keep insisting he is? You'll notice they never give any examples of this. Remember, these are people who went apeshit after Donald Trump retweeted a gif showing him body slamming a CNN logo. Oh wait, no, it's just funny. He's just having fun. Oh wait, no, it's actually scary, dangerous. For some reason, it can't be. It cannot be. If he is, he wins the election, he, you won't be on the show anymore. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. He'll come looking for me. 40 years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. He'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll be, they'll be things that happen that none of us can imagine. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. What did Trump do to hurt these people so badly? You literally had people in Hollywood threatening to bomb the White House and he didn't round anybody up or put them in camps. In fact, every institution and media outlet for the most part mocked and ridiculed him on a daily basis and spread outright lies that led to riots for the entire four years. And again, I don't remember Trump rounding anybody up or putting them in camps, but these people literally live in a delusional world of their own creation. Like back when Nicole Wallace claimed that Donald Trump was literally hunting down Latinos and executing them. But I do see that the governor of New York now is putting the National Guard in the subway. As a New Yorker, what do you think of that? What do you think they'd say if he did it? Well, if he did it, it's for another reason. Oh, that was different. Her, her doing it, I, I haven't heard about it. They just told me just uh, before, but I, 
I, I, I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. I'm not happy about it. But, but I, crime in New York. Uh, I mean, I, you know something about I, that. I, uh, well, I You've don't. played it. Any, it's happened yeah, to you. It, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have. You got rid of the that's filth. organized crime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't. I, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope. Uh, I don't know. Whatever I can do to help alleviate that situation, whatever, I don't know. I what the hell are you talking about? This guy has lived in an ideological bubble for most of his life and has no idea why anyone has views that he disagrees with. Nor is he curious why. That's why the only thing he brings to this conversation is an endless string of negative insults. CNN and MSNBC have guys like this convinced that if Donald Trump gets power, the world will literally end. Never mind that the world was pretty calm under Trump. Putin wasn't invading anybody. Peace deals were achieved and the border wasn't being invaded by literally millions of people every year. But he tweeted mean things and he was prone to exaggeration. So it's better that we're on the doorstep of World War III. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still watching, might as well hit that like button and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. See you on the next one.